Okay, Sig Sauer guy here, and this is just going to be a quick video on the removal and cleaning and reassembly of the striker assembly in the P365. Um, I previously did this video, it's just going to be a remake of it. Um, I've read quite a bit in the last couple weeks, um, new 365 owners having light primer strikes. Um, so the recommended procedure is basically to take the striker out, clean it up, put it all back together, and see if that takes care of the problem. 99% of the time it takes care of the problem, so... I'm going to show you how to do that today, so let's get started. Okay, this is a pretty straightforward and easy procedure. Anybody can do it. Um, the only really tool you're going to need is a pick or a punch um, to pull back on a plunger so we can release our back plate. This back plate here has to come off so we can get the striker out. So first things first, we're going to remove our magazine, lock the slide to the rear, make sure we're safe and clear, physically check to make sure there's no round in the chamber, which there's not. We're going to rotate our takedown lever and release our slide. Um, you don't even really need to remove the guide rod assembly or the barrel, but I'm going to do it anyway just so it doesn't fall out. And then what we're left with is just the slide. So that little plunger I was referring to is right here in the back of the slide underneath. And it's spring-loaded. There is a space in between that and the rear back plate where I can put a pick in there. And I can push that in and out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that in, slide my back plate towards me, and it'll come right off of there. So we'll pull the plunger in, pull up on the back plate, and we can just take that right out. So this little piece that is actually starting to come out is our striker part of it. Um, and what we need to do here is the striker safety, it's a little spring, another spring loaded piece right here that we need to push down on so it's spring loaded to let the striker out see it catches up on the spring and stuff so just push that in a little bit and that'll allow that striker to come right by there be careful because that's spring loaded see how it popped out a little bit there's a little spring you don't want to lose okay so we'll set the striker aside for a minute we're going to rotate this on its side like that and I'm going to pull it right out and you can see the little spring that I was referring to so don't lose that okay we'll set that right aside and what we're left here with is the striker cavity okay so basically this whole thing is going down inside there it's going back and forth when they ship these from the factory you know they it looks like they drop this in a bucket of grease or oil or something the stuff's just everywhere um, some of it does get through the hole here, makes its way into the cavity there. Um, and then if you've owned it for a while, lubing it up and stuff like that, it eventually makes itself in there or its way in there as well. So um, this needs to be bone dry, completely dry, no lube, no oil, no nothing. So um, something that works pretty good, war brush, 9 mil, fits in there perfectly. If you haven't cleaned it out or if it's really dirty, um, that'll break up a lot of that stuff. First, what I usually put in there is bore cleaner and let it sit for a little while. So that way if there is carbon in there, it'll break it up, loosen it up, and it'll come out a lot easier. Um, then eventually what you want to use is just really Q-tips, um, a cleaning patch. You can actually stick this right on your rod and stuff that in there, pull it out, change it out a few times until it's nice and squeaky clean, okay? We want that perfectly dry and clean in there. No lube at all. Um... Be very careful with the striker. There's not really a whole much you have to do to this. You can clean off the little tip there, which gets carbon on it. Um, if you want to take this apart, that's fine too. Um, it's not very hard to do. Just pull the spring back. There's two half cups here. They'll fall off. It'll release the spring. You can take the spring off. Clean it all up. Put it all back together. Um, I have, in my previous video, mentioned REM dry lube. Um, you can spray this down with REM dry lube. It eventually dries nice and dry. Um, and it leaves like a really slick surface to it. Um, that's fine to use, but other than that, you really don't want to use anything on this at all, okay? So once we're all cleaned up and everything inside here, inside here, we're going to put this back together. So we're going to take our striker safety, just the same way it came out, put it on its side. Stick it in that hole. Okay, I'm going to kind of hold that with my finger. I'm actually pressing in on it a little bit, so that way when I put my striker in... It'll make its way by there. 
Okay, now I can release it, make sure it's captured, it's not going anywhere. And I'm just going to push down on my striker assembly so that way I can get my slide back plate back on. Just like that. It's going to start in there like halfway. There's a little groove that it goes in. Basically just push it all the way in until you hear it snap into place. That plunger is capturing it now. And then we can reinstall our barrel. Guide rod assembly. Back under our module. Make sure, new people, if this lever is up and it won't come down, just push up on your slide catch. Rotate the takedown lever. Make sure your safety lever there is facing down and forward. Put that back on. Release it. There you go. It's as easy as that. Um, so if you have had light primer strikes, um, give that a try. That should take care of it. 99% of the time it does. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.